I've never completed the Pokedex. I've played every single Pokemon game, done dozens of Nuzlocks, but look, if to be the very best, the best there ever was, you need to complete this catchphrase, gotta catch them all, then I'm an absolute failure. To be honest, now that I'm saying this out loud, this might also be what my dad left me. Hello, son. Hello, father. I am a seven-year-old boy. Have you completed your Pokemon decks? No, father, I haven't. I'm going for milk. And if you guys are sitting there right now thinking, hey, I've never completed the Pokedex either. Well, maybe that's why your dad left you. So in an effort to redeem myself and restore my father's love, I've decided to catch every single Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. But I don't mean just finish the Pokedex. No. By the end of this video, I will have one of every single Pokemon alive. That means instead of just catching a Starly and evolving it to a Star Raptor, I will catch three Starly and evolve one to each stage of its evolution. This means I will need to catch over 400 Pokemon. I'll need six different legendaries, including the Violet exclusives, and I will have to evolve over 200 times in order to complete the entire decks. With over 65 of those evolutions being what I'll call special evolutions, like leveling up with high friendship, evolving only at night, getting so mad you die and come back as a ghost, or bathing the blood of your enemies on a full moon while doing the Macarena. And as an extra catch, I am going to do all of this without Googling where a single Pokemon is. Not because I'm a masochist, but because I want to push myself to explore Paldia properly and hopefully find my father. And when I'm done creating what is essentially a really messed up bug collection, I am going to wonder trade every single Pokemon. And yes, I mean every single one. So come with me on my stupid fucking journey to catch every single Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Okay, um, I'm done. That was really easy. Like, I'm like really, like really easy. After five hours exploring Paldia, I have caught 380 Pokemon. Well, technically more than that because I caught two Skrelps, two Stunky, two Sharkadets, and oh, I, I caught two of every Paradox Pokemon in Scarlet as well. But I will explain why I had to do this to complete the decks later. First, can I just say how wildly easy this was? I found every single Pokemon without Googling, literally all of them. And I even caught a bunch that originally I had written down as potentially being hard to find. For example, I thought I'd need to evolve every single type of Eeveelution. But no, you can just find these guys in the wild. And they even light up like a glow stick to help you find them faster than a girl with daddy issues in a rave. Or remember Spiritomb, that mysterious Pokemon you needed the keystone for, or had to hunt down 107 wisps to get an Arceus? Yeah, I just found him wandering on the side of a mountain, just on accident. Not once in this game did I feel lost or frustrated at all. I honestly had a lot of fun doing this. Okay, that's a lie. Well, not a lie, but it's definitely not true. There is one Pokemon I literally could not find anywhere. Oh, LJ, don't worry. Frigibax is really hard to find. Nope, he was incredibly easy. He wasn't frigid at all. Oh, don't worry. Ditto and Zoroa are meant to be trusty. Again, no. Easy. Got them in seconds. This Pokemon might be the rarest in existence. And it was Patelil. I am not joking, I even managed to stumble across Gothita. Now that I'm done, I googled what the hardest ones to find are, and Gothita is one of the most brutal. It only spawns in a tiny, very specific region outside of a single town. It is incredibly hard to find compared to Petalil, who is considered easy. I even caught Lilligant, its evolution by accident, and no matter how I searched, I couldn't find Petalil. I still don't have this Pokemon right now. I think I might need to breed hundreds of these little bastards for trading, just so nobody else has to go through this like I have. Anyway, with all of these guys caught, all that is left now are the four legendaries, evolving all 200 Pokemon, and then getting the Violet exclusives, including their Paradox Pokemon, since, you know, I bought Scarlet, the better game. Let's do the legendaries first. I won't show you all of this because, again, I did it without Googling, and it took me far too long to find every single stake. Like, longer than all of my catching combined. But once I finally found all of the stakes, I smacked these legendaries with my balls. And have you guys ever read these Pokédex entries? 
Like, seriously, listen to this. The hatred of those who perished by the sword long ago has clad itself in snow and become a Pokemon. The fear poured into an ancient ritual vessel has clad itself in rocks and dirt to become a Pokemon. The envy accumulated within the curved beads has sparked multiple conflicts and clad itself in fire to become a Pokemon. It drains the life force from vegetation, causing nearby forests to instantly wither and fields to turn barren. Okay, that one's not too bad, but imagine if other Pokemon had entries like this. Petalil were hunted to extinction after humans realized its leaves could be used as an aphrodisiac. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the Violet exclusives. Thanks to some wonder trading I'd done in an earlier video, I had managed to get enough starters for this challenge already, except for Quaxley, who is either so loved nobody wants to give him away, or so hated nobody is breeding him. I'm gonna go with hated. So I will need to breed a Quaxley, and thanks to Terra Raids, I do have a Salamence and a Dragapult that I can breed into Bagon and a Dreepy and a Draclock. While I am here though, I will also breed two more Frigibaxes and of course, a Petalil, which as we all know, its leaves can really help the breeding process. After a quick bang session, ta-da, I have one of every single Pokemon needed to complete a living Dex. For the rest of the Violet exclusives, we're going to need to do a few trades. And thanks to Austin Plays, I'll be able to trade the extra Skrelps, Skunkies, Sharkadets, and Paradox Pokemon that I've caught, who are all exclusive to Scarlet, for their much less cool Violet versions. The way it works is you set up a link trade and use the code of the corresponding exclusive. So let's say I want to trade Great Tusk for Iron Treads, which is ridiculous, I know. Nobody wants to downgrade their Great Tusk, but let's pretend. If you wanted to do this, you'd put 03760382 as your code, and someone else will do the same in Violet, and you swap exclusives. Austin is a legend for organizing all of this, but I will say, man, these trades take a long time to find someone. Oh no. I bet these codes are all old now. Five minutes later. Oh no. One hour later. Oh no. Three days later. We might be in trouble. One eternity later. Wait. I was in offline mode. Once I connect to the internet and try again, it's actually pretty quick. We traded a stone journal for an ice cube and a rangaroo for a persimian, stunky for gulpin. No, why would you? That's not what I want. I said stunky for gulpin. I said stunky for gulp. Thank you. That's finally a scrub for a clauncher, and then I would do another scrub for another clauncher so I can evolve it. Or he can just give me a Cloritzer. I guess that works too. Keeping this going, we follow it quickly by a Screamtail for an Iron Bundle, a Fluttermane for an Iron Jugulus, a Slitherwing for an Iron Moth, a Sandy Shocks for an Iron Thorns, and Roaring Moon for Iron Valiant. And okay, doing this and seeing the Violet Paradox Pokemon, I've joked a bit in this video already, and to be actually honest with you, I do have a little bit of regret. I look at the two games and I just can't help think I made the wrong choice. Giving away my Paradox Pokemon for these lesser mons. Oh my lord, the iron is just weird. Next, I evolve two Sharkadets into Armor Rouge, which is actually a really cool evolution. You need to murder 10 Synestes, get their corpses, give them to a stranger who gives you armor for Sharkadet to wear, which evolves him. Once I've done this, I trade off one of the extra Armor Rouges for a Seraledge, and that is every single exclusive done. What's that? Maridon? Yeah, we got a Maridon. What do you mean I didn't show how? I traded them. You saw it earlier. And now with every single Pokemon, including exclusives caught, it's time to start evolving them. Now, most Pokemon evolve simply through leveling up, which to level up this many Pokemon is going to take a lot of time. But I learned a really good trick thanks to a channel called I Did A Thing, where if you're doing really long, tedious challenges like this, all you have to do is hit the fast forward button to make them go much faster. Ta-da! We are done! And we can finally start doing the special evolutions. Now, I could sit here and show you over 60 different evolutions. Like how if you feed an apple in a sweet apple, you get an apple ton. But a tart apple gives you a draplin. Or I could show you how Azamaril only evolves when you give it friendship high enough. But you see, I hate Azamaril, so I just caught a Maril and skipped that part. Actually, to be honest with you, thanks to Paldia literally having you being able to walk up and catch almost every Pokemon, you can skip most special Evos by finding them in the wild. 
So let's talk about the Pokemon I couldn't find or have never done before and wanted to just do the evolution for myself. First up, Sneasel. I've literally never caught a Sneasel in my life, so I had no idea how to evolve him into a Weevil. But you need to let him hold a Razor Claw and level him up at nighttime. Essentially, give him a knife and let him prowl the night for victims. And if we're talking specific times or weather to evolve, can we talk about Slagoo? This guy is so annoying. He only evolves if you level him up past level 50 while it's raining or foggy in the overworld. Which, apparently, when the game saw me trying to evolve him, it decided to give Paldia the worst drought it has ever seen. Go! I needed the rain, but I got stuck at the loading screen for the internet because I picked up my controller. <laughs> Next, a new item that was added this generation is the Ice Stone, which can't be bought and can only be found on the side of the snowy mountains. You'll need a few of these if you want to evolve Satoddle into Satitan and a Crab Brawler into a Crab Bombardable. I figure I should probably move on to a new evolution type added this generation because it might take a while. Let's go walking. Now, Nintendo is obsessed with health. They try and push being active in every game. Back when Soul Silver first came out, we had these little Pokeball walkers that counted your steps and leveled our team. Then they gave us Pokemon Go and kicked us all out of our house that way. And now they're telling me to go for 10,000 steps outside to evolve a Pormo and a Rabska. Luckily, at every turn, Pokemon fans have learned how to beat Nintendo's healthy lifestyle. From strapping a Pokewalker to our fans. Or strapping our phones to our fans. Or strapping ourselves to our fans. And doing this until the spinning gets us enough steps to evolve. My lord, that was brutal. He's cute though, I'll, I'll, it's fine, it's worth it. Why is it just sitting on him though? I can move my camera. Oh my god. My game is soft logged. Moving on, in terms of friendship, I ended up needing to use Soothe Bells on Chansey, Igglybuff, and Riolu. And I made them murder other Pokemon until they loved me enough to evolve. Oh, and while doing this, I got a shiny Tarantula, so suck on my tits. And when all that murdering didn't make those Pokemon love me, I just force fed them candy until they liked me enough to evolve. Well, sort of. Turns out Riolu is brutal to evolve, and it took me hours to make him care about me. And with that, we only have a few evolutions left. A really interesting one is Bisharp. If you want to evolve Bisharp to King Gambit, you need to defeat three Bisharp using your Bisharp. But they need to be a guardian of a pack of Pornyards. So this can take a while, especially if you accidentally use auto battles, <laughs> which don't actually work to count as leveling up. To speed it up, I popped a steel encounter sandwich and got it done pretty quickly that way. And now we only have a few evolutions left. First, we get a monkey so angry he dies. And if you need specifics, I just mean we made him use Rage Fist 20 times and then level up. Then we had to jump into a union room with my mate Chris because to evolve Finizen, he needs to be level 38 while in multiplayer. Oh my god, he's identical, except he has a heart in his chest. You know, Finnison's just like a magical girl, right? Like in an anime. And with that, my boils and my ghouls, it is time for our final evolution. Gimme Ghoul. Aptly, he is the 999th Pokemon in the full Pokédex, including every Pokemon ever released. And he requires you to collect 999 coins by defeating his brothers in order to evolve. You'll get this mostly just from playing the game, so don't go out of your way too much. And luckily, I already have it because I did play the game pretty intensely. Unluckily is that I'm going to trade this guy away for this video, and the chests only have a 5% chance to respawn every real life day. So it might be a while before I get a chance to evolve this guy ever again. Either way, here we go. Oh, I can't believe it's finally done. This is amazing. Oh, you giant peelable cheese stick, you. <laughs> if we press this button right here. 399 caught, 400 battled. What? Am I missing someone? There. A fortress and a pine cone. I guess I didn't catch one. And now our final Pokemon. And that's it. We have a living Pokedex now. We go through and look at the majesty that is every single Pokemon. Literally all 400 of them in a deck. Hold on. God damn it. I... <laughs> 
And now that should be every single Pokemon. So I'm kind of in love with this certificate. And after a quick stop to the professor to brag with a quick victory lap, I've actually, Jock, you're not going to believe this. I've already done it. It's time to say goodbye to all our new Pokemon. But could I really do it? I've spent hours exploring, catching, evolving, learning about these Pokemon, walking, punching, picnicking. Could I really say goodbye to Pokemon I might never get again? These are legendaries. These are starters. These are fully evolved Pokemon. One of these took me hours to get the coins for. These are my friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's do it. We are wonder trading 400 unique Pokemon. I'd like to at least get back half of that. So that is 200 unique Pokemon. That's our goal today. Can we do it? I don't know, but Ferdinand is here for good luck. All right, Ferdinand, what do you think? Is this next one going to be good? He's still angry about me making a ham sandwich. But what will our first trade be, good or bad? This will set the tone for the entire rest of this video, for all of the trades. All right, here it is, our very first trade. We are sending Sprigatito to someone called The Rum. Come on. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny and unlikely. Like, how often do you trade one starter for another starter, right? Anyway, let's do Florigato. Give me back a Crocolore, because that is just hilarious. <laughs> okay, no, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Look, we have 400 Pokemon to get through and Ferdinand isn't getting any younger, so forgive me if we speed run this a little bit by turning it into the Pokemon rap. Next we got a Fletchling, Korean Muck, a Kufan, Harpet, Bonsley, Poobal, Toodle, Diglett, Paris First Hammer, Eevee, Bagon, Bean, Bean, Aricario, Tarantula, Chocolary, Eevee. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm just going to do it normally. We got a mascot, a hellspawn, anger management, frigid, our first sprigatito, blue balls, everyone's favorite grass type, Persian, Eevee, another bean, another grass type. And just like that, we're actually through our first 30 Pokemon. Out of 30, we got 25 unique Pokemon. The non uniques were four Fuecoco, two Floette, two Eevee, and two Azuril. Let's keep going, but if we want to be really lucky, I need to get my giant thick red rocket out. What? No, not that red rocket, this one. Okay, let's go. We traded the Sunkern for a French Pornyard named Scalpion. Then we got a Charcuterie, an overrated lizard. Trade it with a musical bug for... All right, everyone, say it with me in the comments. <laughs> that was pretty good. I think I did a pretty good job there. Hey, Froki. I love Froki, to be honest. I have zero complaints about him. Oh, that's right. The Greninja Raid just started today. That's awesome. We got a Creepy Child, an Adorable Boy, another Lizard, Charcuterie. And then we traded a Vespiqueen for... Gross. Evil. <laughs> yeah, they are evil. There are too many of them in Wonder Trades. <laughs> we got a Shrudel, a Nut Lover, a Minecraft Sheep, Dreadnought, Frog Legs, Cereal Mascot, and then we traded the Devil to Little Nut. That's not like a sexual thing. That's like the guy is called Little Nut. Or a Arua. Cool. We got a Houndor, a Capsa Kid, who, if you didn't know, Paldians actually farm Capsa Kids so they can rip their teeth out to eat. No? I'm not joking. This is a kid's game. We got Donald Duck, Corvusquire, the Pokemon everyone forgets. Dino, Shrudel, Diglett, Stantler, Pormo, a light bulb. Oh no. Another Froki. The frog apocalypse is real. But then something amazing happened. Whoa, how did that happen? The odds are wild. What? Can someone work out the odds of that happening? This feels extremely unlikely. Next, we got a Ditto, a Happini, another Bean, another Ditto, and then all of the sins of my past videos came back to haunt me. Hello, Froki. It's... I'm starting to honestly think it's not good to see you anymore. <laughs> Froki! Ah! <laughs> Another Froki. <laughs> Charmander and a Luxury Ball. So it's just going to be Charmander, Score Bunny, and Froki from here on out. Throw in a Fue Coco every now and then. You're never going to see Quaxley. Everyone hates Quaxley. Ah! This is truly the starter apocalypse. We got a child with a stick, charcuterie, the better Tauros, a bean, and then something I didn't expect, a Hariyama, which I gotta say is just kind of cool to see. I honestly think Gen 3 was peak Pokemon designs. We got a Psykuk, a ah, a Sad Olive, a Psykuk, a Dealing, a Voltorb, a Mimikyu, and look, after the last time I talked about Mimikyu, I will not say anything, okay? Anyway, we got another Hariyama, a Zerua, Kombi, and then Talonflame. 
Dude, what do you mean? This guy was caught at level three, leveled up to level 37, and then just like sent out into the world? Doom Raven, what are you doing? Why did you get rid of your best friend? Uh, a believer. I don't even know her. Treepy! That's unique. Add him to the list. A gimme gobby, another charcuterie. We traded the puppy for God and a werewolf for a pigeon. Next, we traded Roly Coley for a Lechonk, who is really funny to me because he is a fire terror. This was a raid Lechonk. Anyway, we got an Eevee, a Psychark, a Weed Cat, Eevee, and our first Paradox Pokemon, Screamtail. To which I will ask every time, does he scream because Arceus put its tail on his forehead? We got a Luxio, more Blue Balls, another Iglybuff, Trix Rabbit, we got a Spoink, who for some reason went to sleep the moment I made him stop bouncing around so I could look at him. It was weird. A Rookity, a Sableye, who let's be real, Gen 3, crushing the design game again. Next, we got your Mum, a Wooper, a Mudbray, and then we traded our sick Gen 3 Breloom for... Is it a shiny flamigo or just a flamigo? Why is it pale? Is it always pale? <laughs> I got a shiny flamigo! That took me way too long to like register, to be honest. I don't care what anyone says. He's not hacked in, right guys? With that, I felt a change in our luck. A stirring in my loins. We pushed on getting a Flittle, a Tatsugiri, a Miss Magius, another Weed Cat, Flappy Bird, a badass Lucario, and then our worst enemy returns. Oh no! No! The hackers are here! No! Oh, it's just a Froakie. No! I thought Scarlet was safe. I did over 300 trades just last week and didn't see any of these. What has changed in a week? It's okay. The odds must be really low. We'll be fine. Let's trade Miss Magius to Goma and... Oh my god, a shining Lucario! What? On the bright side, I guess we get a free Master Ball, which is nice. Let's keep going. Next, we got a Bear Tick, another Deer, a Luminion, a Dreepy, another Hoppip, a Horse. Oh, no, cute, cool balls. A Dracloak, someone nicknamed Draca before instantly trading away to me. A Mimikyu, another Nut Lover, this time from China. A Gibby Gobby, a Lizard, a Gobby, a Cat, a Light Bulb, a Frog. We traded an Aracuda for a Skiddo, who I think is a D's Nuts attempt at me? I don't know. Skiddon Nice. What? We got a Dreepy, a Charmander, a Shellos, a Tarantula, a Combi, a Venomoth, who I love. And then I got a Psychuck named Psycho Quack. Nobody give this guy anything sharp, okay? We all agree? I got a Noibat, a Tropius, a Mimikyu, a Bean, a Dead Dog, two Weed Cats, a Scatterbug, Diglett, Mudbray, Slackoff, Maril, Rookity, a Frog, a Wooper, a Teddy Ursa, a Pormi, a Froki, and then as my hopes were dwindling, it all came good again. Next, a French scatterbug named Le Pédoniel. <laughs> oh, wow, there goes my entire French audience. It's okay, I have lots of frogs' legs to bring them back. We got an Impy Dimp, a Tarantula, a Cat, a Charmander, Giraffe Rig, Hoppip, Rotom, Tropius, Sneasel, a God from Japan, Wooper, Bean, a Rock Ruff, Nimble, and now we have to start the evolution trading. What will we get in exchange for our dogs? Uh, are they cats? Boxes? What are these? We traded an Eevee to a Weeb and got a Charmeleon. Then we traded the Vaporeon for a Frog, a Jolteon for a Cereal Rabbit, a Flareon for an Ice Q, and an Espeon for a Sneasel. And then Umbreon went to Berry-Chan. Oh, please don't be hacked. Happy New Year. To be honest, I don't know if this is hacked in or not. I just really hope it isn't. I hate the name, but I hope he's at least legit. Next, we got God, Another Frog, Lunch, Bronzum, Trucknut, Mascif, Gumi, Indeedee, which if you didn't get, it's a butler and its name is Indeed because it's agreeing with you like a butler does. Anyway, Makahita, Rock Ruff, Mascot, Ponyard, Sinestia, Small Sassy Child, and then, that's right, our second Paradox Pokemon, Iron Hands, or as I prefer to call him, Ferrous Palms. Next, we got a Dreepy, a Bean, a Football, and then we traded another one of our subscribers, Shilva Bandito. Thanks for supporting the channel, Shilva. Off you go. Next, we got a Doug Trio, then more Proof, Gen 3, Rocks, some Balls. We get a little sus and trade Among Us for a Dragonair, which is pretty awesome, to be honest. We got a Gold Duck, who is blue despite being called Gold. Wait, and Psyduck is yellow, despite being called Psy, as in Cyan. Anyway, we got a Buy Shop, more Blue Balls, a Tootle, a Small of a Dealing, a Bean, and then I actually traded with Cynthia because she gave me a Spiritomb and a Garchomp straight away. Followed by a Pormi, a Grieveout, a Gengar, a Gibble, everyone's forgotten Pokemon, a Grass-type, a Floatzel, a Star Raptor, a Fracture, an Eevee, the best elephant ever, Fanfy. We got a Frog but good, then we got a Frog but trash, a Diglett, a Rockruff, a Meow, a Ditto, a Boon Sweet, we got Dinner, Noibat, Dessert, Routes, Capskid, you're safe now, a Fledgender, a Rabbit, a Monkey, a Magnet, Discharge, a Garganackle, Axu, Weedcat, Charcuterie, Florges, and a Sinesti. Do you feel like people drink Sinesti? 
Do you hate the way I say Sinesti? And with that, I am sure you're thinking to yourself, yeah, yeah, I hate you, LJ. And also, why did you choose to show us every single trade and not just the unique Pokemon? Well, I wanted to give you the true experience. See the feeling of doing something so monotonous that for all intents and purposes could end up being an entire waste of time. I wanted you to sit there and watch as I traded hundreds of Pokemon over and over, building up to the moment where I trade away paradoxes, pseudo legendaries, legendaries. All of this is building up to that one moment. And with that, we continue. Trading a Capskid for an Orthworm, then we got a Froakie, Surviper, then we traded a Rello for another piece of shit. We got a hacked in Froakie, a Sandile, a Dreepy, Donald Duck, Don Dozo, Dino, Charcuterie, Froakie, Spit Up, Snom, Froakie, Balls, Diglett, Lucario, a Toddler, a Frog. I swear, it wasn't one of the signs of the apocalypse, frogs raining from the sky at some point. We got two Buzzles, two Frogs, a Lizard, a Cat, we devolved a Shellgon to a Bagon, which again, what are the odds of this? We got a Routes, a Kickable Friend, a Frog, a Pichu, a Donald, Fatty, Basculin, Eevee, my second favorite Pokemon, Nut Lover, Torkoal, Ditto, Pormy, and finally, we traded Finizen for Iron Thorns, which is pretty damn awesome. We got some balls, a Hatena, a Bean, a Cub Chew, more beans, a Zwayless named Cerberus, which I don't know how to tell you this, Jess, but Cerberus has three heads, not two. You traded him away a bit early. We got God, a Rock Ruff, some Salt, a Sprigatito, a Cheerleader, a Frog, and then another trade from Berry Chan. Oh no. Not another one. Anyway, Greninja is clearly hacked, so that sucks, but I won't be defeated. We traded Dreepy for Squawk ability, then we got an Aracuda, a Slacking, a Shakuteri, La Vesta, who I adore, an Eevee, another Froakie, a Dreepy, another Froakie! I swear, I'm gonna close my eyes tonight and see Froakie. We got an Orthworm, then the most kissable Pokemon ever, Rooksish, a Psyduck, an Altaria, <coughs> Gen 3 Rocks. <coughs> we traded Tyranitar for a Fido, which is hilarious, and then we sent Stone Jonah to Goma. Wait, why does that sound familiar? Oh! Oh, 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 that's awesome! Far out! Moving on. My heart is currently very broken. Save me. We got a cat, a frog, a sheep, another cat, a bean, then we traded the Slow King for Santa before getting someone else's Slow King right back. What? Please tell me that's not my Slow King coming right back, is it? If that's my Slow King, the odds are ridiculously, like, wild for that to happen. It's not even mine. How is, how? How have there been so many weird moments like that? Anyway, we traded Gastrodon for Buezel, and at this point, I think I have been doing this a bit too long because, um, well, I won't explain. I'll just let you watch. Shelter for Gardevoir. Some people look at Gardevoir and they think, yeah, that's hot. I look at Shelter and I think, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, uh, next trade. Oh, yeah. Cloyster. Now that's hot right there. Meow. I don't know, man. Trading one pussy for another pussy just feels a bit strange. <laughs> I need to stop. Uh, uh, anyway, we traded the Quillfish for a Rella. Then I got a Tauros, a Litten, a Froakie, a Young Goose, an Eevee, a Cat, an Eevee, a Rabbit, another Cat, a Catfish, a Diglett, a Frog, a Murkrow. Finally, something new and unique for the Pokedex. Then we got a Bronzo, a Hopip, a Froakie, a God, Buezel, Sunken, Charmander, an absolutely badass Axorus, who, funny enough, was caught by Flamingo VGC at level 38, and then just evolved to Haxorus before being thrown away. We got two frogs, a Santa Cobra, and then Iron Jugulus. Oh, that's awesome! Followed by a favorite of mine, a Bomber Snow, then God, and now we are on our final box before we trade our legendaries. I won't waste your time. We traded the Satoddle for a Sneasel, then a Skidoo, an Eevee, a Stunky, a Fido. We got a Beanie, a Sini, a Fomantis, and we traded our absolutely badass King of Awesome, King Gambit, for something even better. Whoa! What a trade! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we got a Charmander, an Eevee, Charmander, Charmander, Charmander! What the frokey? <sighs> with that, it's time to trade our Paradox Pokemon. Starting with Great Tusk, the best Paradox Pokemon. And we got back a Stantler. We traded Screamtail for Boisel, Brute Bonnet for a Fletchling, Fluttermane for a Marl. We trade Slitherwing for a Froki, Sandy Shocks for a Honchkrow, which is worth it in my books, to be honest. Iron Treads goes for a Magneton, Woo! Iron Bundle brings me the gift of Bacon, Iron Hands for a Gimme Gobby, Iron Jugulus for Iglybuff, Iron Moth for Routes, and finally, Iron Thorns to Silky Panties. 
Pokemon is a weird community. We trade Frigibax for Shellos, Arctabax for Santa, Bax Calibur for... The moment I saw that ball, I knew it was a Froakie. It's just, it's like a warning. It's like a red flag. You know how like when you see like a guy has crypto in his Twitter bio, that's a red flag. You see a girl with astrology signs in hers, red flag. You see that little blue ball coming into your trade, red flag. <laughs> and now it's our final box. All we have left are rare Pokemon and legendaries. This is the moment this entire video has been about. This is what you've been waiting for. Was it all worth it? We trade Gimme Gobby for a capsule hit. You're safe with me now, little guy. No one's going to eat your teeth. And with a lot of hesitation, it's time to trade our cheese stick. Oh, this is the one I dread the most. It's fine, okay? The trading gods will give me goodwill from this. They'll see me giving someone a gold dango and they'll be like, ooh, let's give him a, 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 a bigger gold dango, a level 100 gold dango with perfect EVs and IV stats. And, and also we'll give him a Maridon. We'll just give him another one. I promise it's going to happen. The gods will look down on me here. Have faith in Arceus. This is because I wonder traded 251 Lechonks, isn't it? But with that, it's time to trade our legendaries. First is Wo Chen, who we trade for a Hydreigon, which is kind of cool, to be honest. Next, Chen Pao for a Mankey, a Ting Lu for a Toad School, and finally, Chi Yu for a tanned mouse. I am defeated. These legendaries took me hours to find. I had to find every stake by hand. But at the same time, I can't help but imagine Henrik, Ash, Dark Raven, and Orange sat there in their underwear, trading randomly until they get my legendaries. Their face just confused but excited. That cheeky little smile. And that's worth it for me, even if this video gets no viewers. I like the idea of watching those four people smile at my weird trades. We trade Roaring Moon for Wooper and an Iron Valiant for Donald Duck. And now it's time for the final trade. It's all built to this moment. Hours of catching, hours of evolving, a few seconds of breeding, and hours of trading. This is how we learn if it was all worth it. Can't trade this Pokemon in surprise trade because this is a special Pokemon. What? While I wait for you guys to comment down below if you want my Coridon and Maridon, let me run some stats by for you. Did we get 200 unique Pokemon back? Drum roll, please. I said drum... No, I can't... Ha okay, sorry, I guess there's no... Dr anyway, we got back 171 unique Pokemon. And can you guess the five most common that we got? That's right, we got 39 terrible frogs, 16 chili beans, 14 weed cats, 13 overrated lizards, and 12 Eevees. And... Five Quaxley, who is clearly the most hated Pokemon starter that is available in Scarlet and Violet. Just got eight shiny, seven of which are likely hacked. We're gonna hope and pretend like Flamigo likely isn't. And then we got five Paradox Pokemon. So you're probably wondering, do I think this was all worth it? Did I achieve what I wanted? Wait, what did I want to achieve again? Hello, son. 